Hello and welcome back to a new video. It's been very long and I do apologise everyone. Um, but today we're looking at a really interesting topic which is AI within Blender. And um, I think this is going to be a really important video for people who are interested in where this AI is going to start to be incorporated within Blender and where we can be using it in our art and when we create content. So. Um, the first thing you need to do is download this um, add-on, which is will be linked in the description below. And this is completely free. Um, if you are, but it'd be great if you could support this uh, add-on as well. Um, I'm not being paid to say this or anything, but it'd be great to uh, to show some support on this. So once you've got this installed, um, make sure you um, boot up Blender and ensure that. It is installed and um, you click install and then select the file from the download and make sure the little checkbox is ticked. You will also need to go and find uh, sign up for it, the free demo, which is completely free. There's no risks there. I just signed in with my Google, um, Google Dro uh, account and it's just set up completely fine. And what you will need then is to find the API key, which is found in the profile settings. Um, and it will allow you to link your um, account with your Blender, um, which means it will transfer back and forth when we're creating the AI content. Okay, so <clears throat> once you've got your API key uh, put in, uh, make sure you um, have that all checked. You make sure you've got the checkbox selected. And what I have here is just a uh, project file, which is something I worked on a very long time ago while I was at uni and it's a good example of how we can be using AI to um, mask and use stuff we've created in Blender to be then AI'd if that makes sense. Um, but anyway we're going to start doing some tests. I'm going to show you how to use this add-on. Mainly this part is found in the render properties and if you scroll down you'll have this new AI render section which we found right here and you will uh, be have loads of other settings here which will look a bit complex to you but don't worry this is all easy um, but yeah, it's important to have a scene up that you are ready to render and something that's interesting and well lit and um, will give the best results is what I found so far so first we'll start at the top and this is the prompt section the prompt section allows you to put in any keywords that you want this to the AI to uh, generate and incorporate within this render so I'm going to leave this blank for now, um, but if you feel like there's anything specific you want to aim this towards, feel free to put this through into the prompt section. We also have this apply a preset style, which is the little checkbox here. And what this will allow you to do, if you click this uh, image here, you can see all these different variations of styles, which the AI will then incorporate and um, stylize the, the render. So we can select one, anyone here. The piece that I'm using or at the moment is already quite sci-fi intense, so maybe we stick to something around that. Um, so we can go for this, uh, this style here. Uh, so we're gonna select that and that will just sit here. And these are the, uh, the advanced options, which can be really um, fun to play around with to get different outcomes. Um, and we also have the operations part where we can create a new image from last render or new image from last AI render. So that allows us to re-render from an AI, AI render, plenty of render here, or we can re-render, um, or we can re-render a completely new uh, composition from the render. This will make, will make sense once we've uh, done a few examples. But I think it's important now to um, go ahead and. Uh, click render. I'm just going to put a little accent light in there to show you that it's going to be incorporating everything when we when we render through this. So, okay, let's click render, render image. It's also important as well. You'll probably be prompted to make sure that your aspect ratio is set to, I think I believe it is 512 by 512. Let me go on to layout. I don't want to spoil anything yet. Uh, let me just check that. Yeah, 512 by 512, and just make sure that that is your resolution. We click render, render image, and this is going to then do a quick render here. And as you can see, this is the stock render. So the stock render are from the viewport and for what everything we created is now done. It's denoising, and there we go. Once again, it's put this straight through. So what it is doing is incorporating the the render from the image, and then using AI to incorporate the style. 
So this is not probably the best example, but you can see that it is considering angle corners and pieces like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this image similarity to 0.5. So that is perfectly in the middle between using this style and the render um, from Blender. We're going to try this one more time. We're going to go render, render image. Um, and this will look exactly the same as what we had before, but it's going to redo um, in, in a whole different way. Once again, still using this style. So it is an infinite amount of, 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 uh, of possibilities. So here we go. This is a, a much better example of how this is working. So as you can see, it's it's considering all these lines and it's going through and and generating things that would would work there. So from a from an artist standpoint, this is a great tool for concepts. And if you're willing to um, keep testing, you could get some great concept art from here. I mean, I can already see like these are very interesting lines for some kind of model of some kind of spaceship or something of that manner. So the most powerful part about this this uh, add-on is it allows us to then change any angle uh, on the render. So we're going to go from this side shot. And you're going to see now how the, it will adapt depending on what the camera is seeing. So we're going to render image again. And as you will see in a second, once this works itself out, it's going to be doing everything again, and it's going to incorporate the style again to this render. Um, <clears throat> let's let that do that thing. There we go. So you can see it's using the style, and it's putting all these new lines in. It's quite sketchy. Um, so yeah, that's a that's a cool concept. You can see this light here. It's really cool. Right, we're going to do one more style. We're going to select something that's quite um, against it, uh, quite against the, the style, just to show you how this is all working. So let's go for Bauhaus. I think this would be a, a great idea. So let's go for render image. I think a thing to take away from this video, which would be most important for you, is to make sure your subject is lit well and you have your darks obvious, your lights obvious, because the AI will be able to, to look at these, these harsh lines and, and work around it. Okay, so here's another example. You can see this is all working here. And we're going to then use these new operation tools, which was new image from last AI rent image. This allows us to then take this and add another layer of AI generation. So we're going to click this one more time. And what it's doing is it's rendering that out again. Um, and there we go, it's done it overlaying. It will get darker, the image will get much darker, um, but that's fine. So we're gonna click this one now, and we're gonna try one more attempt. I'll be putting up um, a few, you might have already seen some few examples that I've done already. Um, but yeah, let's see what this last one's going to look like. When it does its thing. There we go, very similar actually to, to the last one. Maybe we change the angle up. One more time. Uh, let's go for something like this. These lines are quite interesting. And we're just going to set the up the environment strength just so we get a bit more variation. We'll set this to up a bit. And we'll set you to white. Okay. Excuse my rush lighting skills at that. That's not a fantastic example of how we should light, um, but it's just for ex example here. So we're mainly looking at this part here. I'm not expecting it to do fantastic uh, things with these side pieces, but there we go. There's a bit more of a an interesting look. Uh, we'll go for one more style. It's very addictive. Let's try this render image. And then we'll think we'll wrap that video up there. While we're waiting for this to render, thank you guys for the, all the support on the channel recently. I know I've been uh, inactive, uh, I've been quite busy recently, um, but the videos are going to be flooding back in. And I, yeah, I do keep an eye on the channel all the time. I'm on it every day. I just haven't been posting content um, at this point. Um, but yeah, we're back in the flow. I should be back on the live stream soon. So I appreciate everyone hanging around still. Um, we're very close to 2,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed already, uh, that'd be very, very, um, very, very cool if you could. But there we go, guys. Thank you uh, for watching this video. Hopefully it helped you out.